Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about how to add your KW command email signature to your KW email, but more importantly, how to actually hyperlink it as well too. Now, if you're utilizing an image signature like the KW command email, then in this case, you're only going to be allowed one hyperlink on the image, right? Only HTML signatures would actually allow for multiple hyperlinks. All right, but we're going to talk about how to add that in immediately. So I've already got the signature created, so that'll be in another tip video of how to create the signature. But once we're inside our Gmail account, we're going to click on the gear icon at the top right up here for our settings. And once we click on the settings, we're going to select see all settings on here. Now this is a new kind of feature on Gmail, so if you haven't looked at the settings quite yet, you might notice that's a little bit different. This came out pretty recently. All right, but once we click on see all settings on here, all right, now this is still going to be the exact same as what you guys probably remember before. But if we scroll down, all the way down near the bottom, our signature section is going to be a little bit different on here. All right, so when we're taking a look at this, now we can actually add inside multiple signatures by clicking that Create New option. So if you do need to create a new signature, and we're going to start from scratch on here, we'll click on Create New. And then we can title it whatever we want to. So that way, if you happen to have multiple emails on here, you can title it based on the email to make it simple to move between them. All right, but now we have that created. I always like to space down a little bit, give a little bit of space from the last sentence or the last thought inside your email, and then obviously where the signature is located. But now I'm going to click on this little kind of mountain to moon icon. It looks like it's only mountains now. It looks like they took out the moon. All right, so this is the insert image option. And once we insert that image, I can either do it from my drive, I can upload it, I can do it from a web address. So I'm going to upload this real quick. You can always drag and drop. I'm old school, I always like to search and find it. <laughs> so there you go. All right, and once we add that in, now it's automatically going to display for us. Now one thing to note, once this is actually displaying on here, then we can actually click on it. All right, so as you can see, once we go through, I'm actually going to highlight all this real quick. All right, so I'm going to drag my cursor over. I'm going to highlight it real quick. There we go. All right, so once we highlight it, as you can see, it's now a different color on here. It's kind of a, a bluish hint. All right, then we can actually click on our little link option. All right, and once we click on link, we can avoid the text to display because it's just going to be linked on there. But now we can add inside the actual link that we want to use on here. All right, once again, I'm going to delete that text to display, and now I can click the OK option. Now, this is the URL that we want to actually direct people to whenever they actually click on our signature. All right, so I'm going to click that OK option. So now when someone clicks on it, if you notice, it'll say go to link, and then here's the link it'll take them to. All right, so that'll automatically update this immediately. So now I can literally go through and I can actually select which email signature do I want to use for new emails, for reply and forwarded emails. So I'm going to select Signature for both of these, and I'll click that Save Changes option on here. Now, once I go through and I actually compose a new email, if anyone then receives this and they click on it, if you notice, it's going to take them over to my website directly because that's the URL that I have linked on here. All right, so that'll make it very easy to redirect them over to whatever URL you want to. Now, once again, you can also add inside additional text options below the signature or above it, and you can hyperlink it. But if you want to link this directly to the image, you can only link one URL right now. All right, but that's how simple it is to actually link this up. So the big key factor is one, make sure you delete that text to display. And two, make sure you have the signature highlighted where it's that blue tint. So that way you can add inside the link. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.